What's going on guys? Welcome back. It's been a few days since I made a video, so I really wanted to make one. And I gave you guys a bit of an update yesterday. I'll probably delete the video because um, many people have seen it. Uh, enough, the, the people that want to watch my videos every single day. I'll scratch my leg. I got a couple of mosquito bites on my fucking ankle. Anyway, I'm really edgy. Uh, so if you're new around here, subscribe. And uh, when you do, uh, make sure you join the email list and you follow me on all, some, all my social media, especially Instagram, because Instagram is where I do most of my coaching. Now, I'm going to be doing a little bit more content for Instagram. I just don't know how I'm going to format it. I don't know if I'm going to take some snippets from videos that I've been making for you guys and putting them into one minute formats there because IGTV is a thing. And I don't know if I want to come up with different kinds of content for that just to bring everybody kind of to the same same realms and same funnels. Yeah. So in this video, we're going to talk about what is sexual marketplace value, SMV for short. Now, this is kind of a buzz thing going on right now. I've noticed that a lot of um, PUA or pickup artists are talking about this and uh, some other people on YouTube are talking about it and I wanted to make my own video and my own, uh, I wanted you guys to see my own take on it. So I made a blog post on this actually. So if you actually go to powerfulrelationships.co, you'll see my latest post on it. And um, what I end up doing now is I end up making the blog post first and then I kind of like make a video on it. So I got two ways that you guys can see my content and that helps whenever you build a business, you want to get your business in front of everything possible in terms of the way content is displayed. So Google is people searching for things, right? And then YouTube is video. So I got my uh, blog post there off the top of my head. So sexual marketplace value for men. Um, when, when a female is attracted to a man, there's three things mainly that she's looking for. Um, one of them is obviously how she's attracted to the guy. So um, many women are attracted to more more or less the same things. So for example, height, right? How um, in good shape they are, all right? If they're like, if you're looking good, their body fat percentage is low, they're not obese. That means that they're gonna pass on some nice genes, okay? <laughs> and uh, their status, okay? So how other people view you and uh, how many friends you have, how big your social circle is. Um, basically, uh, think, of, think of a celebrity. And then uh, money. So these, these are the three things that uh, females are looking for when, it, when they're trying to find a mate in a man and see. Uh, you don't have to have all three of these things. That's the thing. You don't have to have all of these. You only have to have, like, say, for example, you take really good care of your body, okay? And when you do that, a female might be attracted to you and then she might, you know, if, you talk, if she gets to know you, because she'll be attracted to you, okay? She'll be attracted to the way you look because there's certain things that, will attract that, right? That they like. So they might know that you're trying to work on a business or whatever. And then you got like, kind of like uh, the, all three of them working for you. But if a guy is like obese and he's kind of like, he's overweight and he's just not cutting it and he's lazy and tired, has low energy, not taking good care of his body, his health sucks, then she's not going to be attracted to him. She's just not going to be. Um, and she'll fucking put you in the friend zone. So and that's, that's going to be my next video is how to get out of the friend zone. And this video is very important for that next video, but I would don't, I want to go into deep detail with that one for, uh, for the ladies, for men that are attracted to women, men are only attracted to two things. Okay. Looks and how well can you have babies? So fertility. Now we, men are very simple creatures when it comes to that stuff. Like it's like, especially if you're in, okay, if you're in a long-term relationship, for example, you could be with a woman that obviously attracted you in the first place, but their sexual, sexual market value can decrease. Say they start gaining a lot of weight, say they don't really care about their goals and dreams. Um, uh, say they don't really, you know, they just, just don't, they just, they just kind of let, let go and, and don't take care of themselves because again, we're only attracted to, um, um, how they look and fertility. Now for me, I don't think that's, it's kind of a statement of what it called, a blanket statement. It's it, for me, I'm attracted to a woman who, who, who kind of handles her own shit. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I, I'm attracted to that, that like the looks part is definitely a thing. Right. But I like a woman who takes care of her own, her own self. But I mean, like there might be those, those extra things, but when it comes down to our biological standpoints, that's what we are looking for. So how do you increase your sexual market value? Well, you work on yourself, self-improvement. Now for men, we can't really get any taller. 
Okay. But you can smash the gym and you could absolutely destroy any body fat that you have. Uh, you can make more money. Okay. And we, I can make a whole other video on that, but you can absolutely start making more money and you can start increasing your social circle. Okay. You could start hanging out with more friends and, and start talking to more people. Um, and, and inc just increasing how many people are in your life. Now you don't have to have a hundred thousand friends. Okay. You just got to make sure that the ones around you are quality and they're going to, they're going to try to like uplift you and support you. And if you don't have any friends because you ditched your old friends, it's not going to matter that much because you're going to want to meet new people that, that are along with your goals and dreams and your passions, because it's a lot easier to, to have friends that are like that. When you have friends that are shitty and they kind of like doubt everything you do, you don't want to be friends with them anymore, but I uh, stay on track here. So increasing your sexual market value is something that I've been preaching just in a different way, right? So the way that I preach it is self-improvement. Every single one of my videos, I'm like, improve yourself, improve yourself, improve yourself. It's kind of like a broken record right now, right? But I want you guys to do that because when you do improve yourself, your SMV goes up, okay? It goes up little by little by little by little. But if you're taking care, like if you're trying to um, uh, look better in the uh, in the eyes of the opposite sex, you have to be the best version of yourself, right? And that's what sexual market value is. The, the actual turn, like the definition, I believe is like what the, what the, what the other, uh, sex is looking for in a partner. Right. So that's what social market value really means. But, uh, those are kind of like the core pieces of it. There might be other things like, for example, I'm not very tall, but some people will find me handsome. Okay. Some people will, some people won't. Um, and when people don't find you ha handsome, like, and you can just tell by the way that their body language is towards you. They might not smile at you. They might not talk to you even. Okay. But if somebody, if you walk by somebody like maybe around your work or something and they smile at you, right? So sexual market value, increase it by completely working on yourself all the time. Not worrying about the opposite sex so much. Worry about yourself. Increase your health and increase your wealth and your social circle for the dudes, for the ladies increase your health and uh, take care of your body. That's really about it. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Okay. And uh, make sure you join the email list and follow me uh, on all my social media. Okay. And uh, subscribe to the channel. All right, guys, I'll see you later. That was sexual market value. Stay tuned for my next video, which is going to be how to get out of the friend zone. All right. Done.